What's up guys, it's Euphoria here. Today we're going to learn how to make that Avicii, that Basto, that Axel and Dirty South sound. Um, pretty much that um, anthem style main room house um, sound. So I've got a, a, a massive preset open here, a new sound. Um, so let's quickly get started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch on all three oscillators, leave them all as they are on the square saw one. Um, keep the wavetable position in exactly the same place. We're going to turn this down a little bit. We're going to keep this up. Uh, we're going to drop this to about minus 18. Uh, push this up one octave and up a few points. Then we are going to add some white noise, not too much, like that. Push all the filters up to filter 1, which we're going to add a daft filter, which is really going to get that sort of stabby sound. Um, and on this daft filter we're going to put a, a macro control and also an envelope. So let's do the envelope quickly. You're going to leave the attack where it is, actually bring it down just a little bit, um, the decay is going to come down a bit, the level is going to come down to about there, and we're going to push the release up just a little bit, like that. We're going to take this, put it on the cutoff, put it, push it up about that much, um, leave the actual cutoff knob just above um, nothing. So you're going to straight from as you touch the key you're going to hear that that note and then we're going to put uh, a macro control also on the same knob um, and that's going to go all the way up um, why are we doing that well I, don't, I just like using the macro controls because when you're browsing in your presets you can quickly change them and stuff we're going to push that up to about there um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's about 0 0.6 if you're using Fruity Loops up here. I would say it's probably about 60%. Um, what do we have so far? Uh, you know, decent getting there. We're going to put a reverb on. There it is. Bring it down a little bit because the density is going all the way up. So we don't want it too high. We are also then going to put a chorus on here. Again, bring it down. Push the rate all the way up. Offset a little bit. Just a little bit over what its default is and depth just a bit under. Um, then of course we have the voicing tab which we're going to push this up to 4, make sure that's on chord, switch that on, and we're going to do it, move this so that there's two blocks showing and one big block. Now if you play the chord, so let's turn it down just a little bit. Um, got that sound now to pro properly nail the sound you're going to need to have a lot of different layers um, and the pr processing is very important so you're going to have a lot on on the bus and uh, on Fruit Loops the mixer channel um, you know you want to get it you want to have as like many sounds as possible but not too much so it gets muddy um, this is actually a really good lead sound to have um, as your sort of main sound and then putting a whole bunch of different pianos and keys around it to you know get that big sound where but this is your main so I put in to ear um, the actual and dirty south sweet division um, notes um, you can get them off a MIDI file or whatever um, it's also very important when you're putting your sounds in that you space them out because, I mean, 
that's how the chord is actually played. Um, and you know, like that. But then as soon as you push that up, it's it's a bigger it's a bigger sound. So that'll sound something like this. Which is it's an okay sound. Um it's actually really good. I use it a lot and then sort of just build around it. Um yeah, so that's been a tutorial on how to get that Vici sound. <laughs> um, yeah. And then obviously it's important to play around with note lengths and stuff like that. I, I mean, it's it's this is just a, a sound to have. Um, it's important though that you understand how to build, you know, how to use a whole bunch of different ones and, you know, layer it up. Layers are very important. So anyway, so this is me. I hope it's been a quick video. I hope it's been um, a intuitive video um, and I hope you've learnt a lot. Cheerio. Sorry, I just, just um, realised I had the the noise up a bit high on the last one, and also I forgot to tell you with the EQ. S push it up a little bit with boost, and a little bit on the high shelf. Um, that's actually kind of important, it gets a completely different sound. Um, so it'll pretty much sound like this. <laughs> So there you have it.